In this video, you will see how to make a fabulous strawberry mousse. I've combined this dessert with coconut mousse which makes it really more amazing. It's very easy to make and requires no gelatin or agar agar. Just see how soft it is. Plus setting it in a glass helps to control the portions and it looks personalized if you're making it for the guests. And you are sure to win hearts. So before the strawberry season ends, do give this recipe a try. Let's get started with the recipe. Here I'm taking 6 to 8 strawberries and I'll chop them finely. To it add 2 to 3 tablespoons of sugar. Mix it well and leave it aside for 5 minutes. In 4 tablespoons of fresh cream add a few spoons of strawberries. You can add more spoonfuls as per your taste and make a puree. I've purposely left some strawberry chunks in it. Keeping this aside, I'll take 1 cup of chilled and sweetened non-dairy whipping cream and whisk it till fluffy. As the strawberries may be sour to taste, you need to add a few spoons of sugar. I'm using powdered sugar as it dissolves easily, so do not use granular sugar. Here I've added 1 fourth cup of sugar and now I'll whisk it till the stiff picks are formed. Here you can see the cream is thick. I'll take half of the cream in another bowl and keep it in the refrigerator while I prepare the strawberry mousse. To this part of the whipped cream, I'll add the strawberry cream puree along with few drops of strawberry essence. I'll request you to not skip the essence at all. I've also added pink food color which will give a good color to this mousse. And our absolutely yummy strawberry mousse is ready. I'll keep this in the refrigerator till I prepare the coconut mousse. To the whipped cream, I will add a few tablespoons of desiccated coconut which will give a nice texture when you eat it. Here I am also adding 4 tablespoons of coconut milk and 1 4 teaspoon of coconut essence. This mousse is already smelling so so wonderful. Believe me and do try this recipe. The texture should be as shown. I will refrigerate this mousse and prepare the cake for the dessert. This recipe is very easy. All you have to do is take 1.5 cups of vanilla cake premix, add water and make a smooth batter. I will be baking this cake in a tray so that you need not cut the cake in layers to set the mousse as that requires practice and many viewers may not be comfortable doing so. The batter is smooth and is of dropping consistency. It's dropping like a flat ribbon. To this I'll add a tablespoon of refined odorless oil and give it a good mix. The batter has no lumps and it is not thick and tight. For this batter I've used 100 ml of water. I want a thin sheet of cake so I've taken 7 inch by 7 inch tray and lined it with butter paper so that the cake does not stick on baking. Pour the batter and spread it evenly. You may feel the batter is very less but do not worry the cake will rise on baking. Once done, bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes approximately. Note that the time will vary from oven to oven. The cake has cooled down and I'll remove it from the tray so that we can cut it into circles. If you do not want to use a cake premix, do follow my vanilla sponge cake recipe. I'll leave a link to that video in the i button above. Now depending upon the dessert bowl you use, cut circles 1 cm smaller than the bowl or glass. You can use a lid or katori to make the circles. The remaining cake can be used to make a trifle pudding which I've already shared on my channel. I'll cut only two circles as I'm making only two bowls of the dessert. Let's keep this aside and start assembling the dessert. First add the sugar added strawberries. Adding sugar cuts the sour taste and enhances the strawberry flavor. The acidity from the strawberries have melted the sugar and the color too has become bright. Now give a generous layer of the strawberry mousse. Before filling it in the piping bag, do whisk it properly once for 30 seconds or so. Using a spoon, spread it evenly. Place the cake and moisten it with plain water. I'm using a tablespoon to show you how much water you need to add if you're using a sponge cake. 
So 2 tablespoons is enough for each slice. Now top it up with the coconut mousse. This dessert is a must try and is also very easy to make. The flowers you see on the side are made from fondant and in my pineapple cake video I had shown how to make them. The link you can see in the description box below. Using any star tip, just make random stars basically to place the strawberry toppings. Place the strawberry slices, some mint leaves for the contrast and to increase the beauty comes a fondant flour which is optional and are absolutely delicious and easy strawberry mousses ready. If you like today's video do not forget to press the like button and share the video with your friends and family. See you soon with a new video till then take care bye bye.